so today I'm going to go over setting up a bootable flash drive for reimaging and the actual reimaging process on a Mac itself. So your first step is to download um, any recent version of OS X, uh, whether it be Mountain Lion or Yosemite or El Capitan, which was just released. I started by right clicking and clicking on show package contents. From there you'll want to go to contents, shared support, and install est.dmg. It's going to verify. You can skip that if you want. And now we're here. Now this is where we want to be, but there are some files that are hidden and we need to unhide them. So if you find the terminal in the spotlight or in the utilities folder, we'll run a command to unhide the files. Once you've run the command, you can type kill all finder and that'll restart the finder and you'll see some new files on your desktop. So if we reopen install esd.dmg, you'll see a bunch of other files, but we really only care about base system. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that to the desktop. And now we're going to make that file unhidden, or uh, yes, unhidden, <laughs> because uh, if you do notice, it is kind of grayed out. And once we disable the hidden files, it'll disappear. So I just ran ch flags no hidden and dragged in the file, and that unhid it. And now we're going to go ahead and hide everything again because we don't really need it, don't want to see it. Okay, we're done with terminal. We can close it and we have our base system now. That itself is our recovery partition. So if you have a disk utility, also in the utilities folder on Launchpad, or alternative, you can search it up in the spotlight. Um, you'll notice uh, that disk utility looks different now if you've used it in the past. In 10.11 at Capitan, they redesigned it. Um, it's a little bit different for me because it's been the same way since like 10.0. So once again, we can just drag the image, it'll read it, and you restore. It's going to give you some details on how it's going. Uh, this was sped up for the video. And once it's done, you'll be given a little confirmation saying, you know, restore complete. Okay, so you've got your beautiful drive, and in part two, we'll talk about the actual re-image process on the computer itself. So go ahead and plug in your drive, and boot up your machine. And as soon as you press that power button, you need to press the option key on the keyboard. And you'll see the screen now. So you want to pick OS X base system. You'll get another progress bar. And then you want to pick disk utility. And we're going to repeat the same process. We're basically going to restore an image. So select Macintosh HD. And then up top, you'll want to click edit and then restore. And we'll look for the image. It's going to be something along the lines of like OS X custom. Yep. And restore. Now, do realize that once you reimage it, there's no going back. You can't cancel it midway. And once it's done, it's done. So just keep that in mind.